Oh, excuse me. I went to say hello, and instead the cough comes. <coughs> excuse me. Okay. But hello. Um, I tried to go to bed, and I laid there for two hours and didn't go to sleep. So I figured I'm going to get up because I could hear my uh-oh. My uh-oh apron doll. I noticed in one in one video I said she was an uh-oh doll. And then I said, next one I said she was apron doll. Because I had put this apron on, changed her name. And so in my last video, I made her skirt with ribbon and yarn. Just stringing like a hula skirt. So that you can still see her um, butterflies underneath. And then I took a part of a doily, and I made her apron. I figured she does need an apron because she's going to have a tray in her hand, in her hands, and carrying something like that. Now, I thought about putting a blouse on her, but I do believe that the napkin that I put on there with the butterflies is pretty. I think that's real pretty. So that's going to be her blouse, but she's going to have a shawl as well. I found my gray yarn. I knew I had gray yarn. The other day I looked for it when I was making mother doll, but I couldn't find it. Well, I did find it. So, and, and what I did was I braided it. I found, I braided a strand. My grandmother used to have very long hair, and she kept it braided and in a bun. So I'm going to do similar to that here, and I hope I hope it works like I think it should. So she kind of doesn't. Oopsie Daisy, sorry, darling. She doesn't have a whole lot of forehead, so. I'm going to see just this little bit of the hair isn't braided here, which is going to go around first. Just this little bit that's not braided. It's going to go around first. And, um, and then I put a little bit of a face on her. I kind of grew her some grew. I kind of drew her some eyes, and then I just made a heart there where her mouth should be, and then I just put a little bit of pink for her little cheeks, just to give them a little. I thought about should I paint her whole face white first with gesso, but then I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. And this butterfly, how it's just right on her neck like that, almost looked like she's got a really cool tattoo. But I like, I, this is how she's going to be. So, this is just how she is going to be. And we had spoken, me and her, me and, me and her, her and me, we spoke about this. And that's what she decided she wanted. She wanted to be a tattooed lady. So maybe she's a tattooed apron, uh-oh girl. I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. But now, um, the other one that I got going too, who it's going to be an angel, is um, she's got tattoos as well. But I think that a tattooed angel is okay. I think I put tattoos on her. Oh. Oh, yeah. She's got the same thing. Yeah, she's got kind of the same thing. She's going to be an angel, though. But I think I'm going to finish up the uh-oh girl first. The uh-oh apron girl. The uh-oh apron tattoo lady. Now, see, at this nursing home where these girls live, you know, if you think about it, now, I've worked in nursing home type places, not actually in a nursing home I didn't work, but I worked in an ALF. And there was a few people with tattoos, but in the future, 
most of the residents in the nursing homes and the um, assisted living facilities and such, retirement homes, are going to be tattooed because the young folks now, they're, they're into ink. Well, I have a tattoo. I have a rose on my ankle. I only have one. But there are people that have got tattoos all over their bodies, you know, which I think is awesome myself. But in, in one day in the nursing homes, this is what you're going to see. So this, these girls are actually nursing home residents from the future. These ones, this one is especially with her. And then after, after they're done at the nursing home and they graduate from the nursing home and become an angel, then the tattoos will go with them. You know, they say you can't take nothing with you. Well, you can take your tattoos with you. So these young ladies, see it's just wrapping her braid around and around her head. I think it's going to be nice. It's long. Gosh, you know what I should do? I should make one of my dolls with dreadlocks. That would be cool. Because they, that, you know, I'm thinking nursing homes of the future here. And... Actually, as I work, I change my mind on things because when I first put the, oh, look how pretty, when I first, <laughs> I love you, Charlene, you're so beautiful. Okay, now, so we've got this extra even after I went around, but I think now I'm going to continue and make her a bun. My, my grandmother's bun, she always had a bun on top of her head. She had a very long braid. I don't think she ever cut her hair in her whole life. And she had a bun on top of her head. And she looked just beautiful. She was like a little house on the prairie kind of a grandma. Oh, this, I'm liking this. I'm liking this bun a lot. Okay, I need to get a little bit of glue underneath the bun. Oh, I am loving this. I am loving this. I never know how things are going to look. Let's see, let me get that up a little bit more. And this up here a little bit more. And I hope the nurses don't think that they want to take her butt, cut her hair. Sometimes in the nursing homes, some nursing homes, not all of them, but um, because they have to take care of the hair of the residents there, sometimes they don't want to mess with that long hair, so they give them a haircut. And somebody who's had long, beautiful locks all of her life all of a sudden has a fuzzo. Well, not a fuzzo, actually, but... Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Kind of looks like she's got a hat on when I look in it. But see, it's braided hair. That's her hair. Okay, now, it does kind of look like a hat. What can I do to make it not look like a hat? I think it's beautiful. That's her hair, though. That's her gray hair. I, if I had thought of it, I would have put, like, a silver string through there, too. 
But I didn't think of that. I didn't give that any thought. I wonder if she wants a beautiful hairpin. She's not Japanese, though. Japanese, probably. She's not Oriental. Well, maybe she's Oriental. If I should have slanted her eyes some and made her like Oriental. Let's see. Well, she can be by. Custom, whatever you call it. I'm leaving them in there. I'm leaving those in her hair. I think it's pretty. I think it's beautiful. You know what I didn't do? Sammy, are you right under my chair? Sammy gets under my chair, and then I'm afraid to move it because I'm afraid I'm going to roll over her foot and hurt her or something. It's right under my chair. Ooh, ooh la la. Ooh la la. Let's see. Ooh la la. I have pretty things. Pretty, pretty, pretty things. What I need, though, is... I, I'm, I'm thinking earrings right now, in case you're wondering. Oh, wait a minute. Look. Sammy, would you move? I'm scared I'm going to hurt you. You should be in the bed with your father. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. I'm, I'm hunting her some earrings. She needs... Does she want these great big earrings? Oh, I wonder if that would be too flamboyant. these huge earrings like this. I don't know. They might not be. How about red ones? Red. No, those won't work. See, just, just, just let me see what I have here. Ooh, blue hearts. Blue heart. Which earrings do you want, darling? You gotta help me pick these out. You gotta pick, help me as to what you wanna wear. I shouldn't have to make all these decisions on my own. Oh, this is pretty. Even. <sighs> okay, I think I'm cooking. Well, I don't know. This is such a hard decision. This, I'm having a real hard decision here. Okay. I'm having very hard decisions going on here. All right. I think I'm liking this. I think I'm liking these round ones. The reason being is I could actually... Let, let me see. Now, if I... Okay. These are jewels that I got in the Happy Meal. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Is there two of these? Mm, no. I don't think so. But what I'm thinking is that I could actually layer something beautiful. Oh, these are awesome. They're like iridescent flowers. But they, when you put it on, I put it on that red, and it makes them turn looking like they're red. I guess because they're like a mirror. Gosh, are these pretty. These are pretty. How in the world did they get all that pretty? Okay. That's what we're doing. We're going to go with this. We're going to put a little glue on here. I love doing th things that don't have any instructions. I love, I love doing that. And so, you know, 
if you have things that have instructions, you got to do this exactly like this and put this exactly right there and then put this exactly on top of it. That's just not fun. It's like a paint by number. And, and that isn't exactly, I mean, paint by numbers aren't bad. I can't say that they're bad. But, um, but they're, gosh, these are pretty, these are pretty things. You know, I look at things when I get them in Happy Mail, but, you know, I always like to open my Happy Mail on a video so that, that the sender knows that I got him, and, and, and then I can let the sender know if I like them or if I don't like them. So I open them up, but I always try to go kind of quickly as not to take time, all everybody's time, valuable time. And so then sometimes when I look at it the second time, it's like, oh my gosh, all new stuff. Now, let's see, what's in, I wonder, oh, those are, those were happy now too. Let me see, oh, this is, that might be an idea. I have such beautiful things. I think everything I have in here came from Happy Meal. All right. Sometimes decisions, decisions, decisions take me a long time because I am a slow decision maker. Do I want to put a bead right there too? No, that might be too much. We don't want her to be too flamboyant. So I'm going to take this now. Now her ears should be right there, level with her nose. Let me see. Ear. Yeah. I just had to check my nose and my ear. Okay. That's pretty. Okay, and then this one. Let's see. There we go. That's pretty. That's pretty. Oh, I like. I like her. It's a tattooed lady. She's got tattoos here. A tattoo of her butterfly. I do not want to cover up that butterfly for love and her money. That is perfect. I love her. You know what? I'm going to make one lady with a walker. This one, she doesn't need a walker. Don't you love her apron? Isn't that the most beautiful apron ever? Okay, now. Now, this piece of fabric that I looked at earlier, oh, right here. It was sent to me by, um, gosh, I think her name was Martine, by in the UK. And it is this very fine, like, tool. It's like tool, but then it's got, like, embroidery in it that is, like, yarn embroidered on there. It is. It is stitched. Actually, it is. I can see the stitches. But I love this piece of fabric. And what I was thinking was if she had this piece of fabric around here and we made that her shawl. I just love shawls. I think, like, I think everyone should have a shawl. And that kind of what do you think? I love that. I love that fabric, and I want to use that piece of fabric. When I first got this piece of fabric, I really, really thought, man, I want, I'm going to use, I wondered, what will I use that on? And because it's so beautiful, and it just feels so good. And, and so, but I think this is exactly where it needs to be. 
and I am so certain of it that I am going to attach it. Because, um, we don't want her to be, like, chilly and stuff. She needs, like, a little brooch. She's, my buttons are on the other side of that table right there, so I'd have to get up and go hunt a button. So I'm not going to do that now, but I think I'm going to find a brooch that will um, probably, well, I'm just going to leave this like that for now. So I'm just going to leave that like that for now. She's got her hair. It's all done up in a bun braided and done up in a bun and, and she's got her lacy beautiful shawl that's very nice she's got her little apron I don't have oh, you know what I have did I put that away I have a button that is like humongous did I have that in here no no, this one would be too small. I think I've got one even bigger than this. If I had a button. Hmm. That would make a tray. But this one isn't big enough. This one isn't. No. I'll have to dig. I'll have to dig around in my other things to find something that will make that will make, um, do you think she needs glasses? I think she can see okay? I do like glasses. Um, just a minute. Well, we've only been on 22 minutes. Okay. I can always take the glasses back off. If if she says she can see fine without them, then she can see fine without them. But if she needs them, she needs them. Just a minute. I got to reach over here and get my nippers. There's my nippers. Okay, now. Nip that. Then I need a pencil. So I can wrap, I can make the eye pieces. There we go, one eye piece. And then eye piece number two, because she has two eyes. All right, now. Now. There's, there's some glasses right there. That's glasses. Yeah. Now let me check and see if the glasses help. I know a lot of elderly, you know, some need them just for reading. So let's see. Let me just see. Let me get these behind your ears. Thusly. Oh. I have to just, <laughs> wait a minute. We have to do a little work on these glasses. Good thing she came to the optician. The optician. Well, wait a minute. i got to bend again. Okay. We gotta fix these up a little bit. Okay, what do you think? Gee, Merry Christmas, don't put your elbow on the hot glue gun. 
gosh, I'm losing my mind. Now, what do you think? Yeah, I think the glasses are necessary. Can you see better with those, darling? What do you think? Yeah, and the ear bobs. Look at them. Look at how they change, how the color changes as she moves of the middle part there. See the little, it's like a sequin, but it's in a shape of a flower. And it, um, as she moves, she looks pretty serious, doesn't she? I think she's beautiful. And with that butterfly on her neck like that, I think I'm going to get a tattoo of a butterfly on my neck. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But look at that. Okay, so all I need to do now is to get her a tray. This hand is up above higher than this hand. So the tray will sort of sit in this hand and above this hand. But I think so far, she's beautiful. I think she's beautiful. She will just go right along with... I wonder if... I just had a thought. I don't know if my thoughts vary. What wonderful. But I'm one that just keeps going. I'm like an energizer bunny. I just keep going. What if I were to take just one of these? Oh. <gasps> What if I dolled her up? Oh, Elizabeth Marie, I think you're onto something here. I don't know. Oh, I'm so I'm so torn. Okay. I. All I can do is take it apart and look. I'm going to cut right up this middle. And then up here. And then like this. And then down like this. Almost like I did her apron. Because, see, I made her apron out of part of this doily. Now. What if I were to put, give her a nice little, a nice little head piece? Then that makes her hair look more like hair than it makes it look like a, Then more than, because it almost looks like she's wearing a, a hat, her hair, you know. But if I go this way, then put the hat pin in. Oh, you know what? I think this is good. She's going to definitely have the hat. Okay, and with the hat pins like that. Yes, she is. Okay, I'm going to turn that under a little bit there so it doesn't unravel. And then I'm going to glue that. Ooh. I love how thoughts just pop into my mind. Now then this piece, I'm going to tuck it where I cut it. Because back in the day, the ladies liked to wear nice little hats. I think that is perfect. I think it's perfect. Up, no, down, yeah. That's pretty. Look. See that? How that fits on her head? 
I think she's beautiful. So if I find a, all I want to do still is to get her tray and get a little brooch that she's going to wear right here. And so, but I can't find that right now because it's on the other side of the, wait a minute, I got a gem here. I just had that one laying over there. But no, I think we need something more flamboyant. Okay, now. I think she's beautiful. This is her sister. Her sister needs work. Hopefully tomorrow. I love her. Look at her, how she turned out. Look at your sister. Look. Look. Now smile. Don't be so grumpy looking. There. Now. See there? She does look a little hoity-toity, doesn't she? Now, we're going to work on her tomorrow. I really have to find those wings. I know I've got a set of wings, and I thought I had them right here. Beautiful card. Um, Donna? Go over here, card. I thought I had my wings right here. My set of wings. But I don't see them. I will find them. They can't hide from me for very long. But they have, like, real feathers on them. You know, I sent some wings off in Happy Mail. I wonder if I sent them all off in Happy Mail. I love sending Happy Mail, and I sent off a package of Happy Mail to another girl that makes dolls, and I sent her wings, and I may have sent the ones that I thought I didn't send. I'll dig around. I don't think I sent them. I think I got more. But anyhow, that's, that's what we did for today. So, she's beautiful. And we're going to work on Miss Angel, and I think tomorrow, we're going to definitely work on her tomorrow. And um, I have to sit here because I can't walk on this foot. And so I have to just sit and be quiet and behave myself, which is really hard. It's really hard for me to behave myself. I have a hard time doing that. All right. Okay. Heart thoughts, inner wisdom. We'll go to the back of the book. Okay, this one is about working together. Working together. If you choose to believe that everyone is working with you in a productive and harmonious fashion, you will find that wherever you go in life, people are there to assist you. We are all part of the harmonious whole. We are each a divine idea expressing through the one mind in harmonious ways. We have come together because there is something we need to learn from each other. We have a purpose in being together. There is no need to fight this purpose or to blame one another for what is happening. It is safe for us to work on loving ourselves so that we may benefit and grow from this experience. We choose to work together to bring harmony into the business at hand and into every area of our own lives. Everything we do is based on one truth, the truth of our beings and the truth of life. Divine right action is guiding us every moment of the day. We say the right word at the right time and follow the right course of action at all times. Each person is a part of a harmonious whole. There is a divine blending of energies as people work joyfully together, supporting and encouraging each other in ways that are fulfilling and productive. We are successful in, a, in every area of our work and our lives. We are healthy, happy, loving, joyful, respectful, supportive, and at peace with ourselves and with each other. So be it. 
And so it is. When I read this, you know what I think about? I think about our group. I think about all of us in the art community, the crafting community, and like we're constantly encouraging each other. We're constantly inspiring each other. And we all are part of the harmonious whole. This is exactly what we do. And, you know, if people all over the world did this, what a happy world we'd have. This is beautiful. I love that I opened this one because this is us. This is me and all of you. And because of all of you, I am who I am. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much. I love every one of you more than I could ever say. And there are no words that could even express how much I love you. And you know what? I thank you. And I ask God to watch over you today. Every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.